Harper Academy, there are uh, million dollar homes and they're coming this way. Neighborhoods, many low income, are continuing to feel the impact of growth in Greenville. And neighbors on one particular street are facing a battle that they're all too familiar with in an area where development often means displacement. Our Aaron Rogers is live on Leach Street in West Greenville where concerns are growing over proposed townhomes. So tell us about this, Aaron. Well, Diane, this for sale sign is why community members as well as the developer held a meeting late last week. The proposed project is putting townhomes right where this house now stands. Past the paint and plywood on this West Greenville street, our neighbors graveling with growth in Greenville. It's displacing homes that are for the working poor, which the city needs. This pink tape, a marking of what's to come. People with clipboards in their hands, getting out of the cars, walking around people's houses who live there. There are some homes like this one that actually have for sale signs. But the homeowner, who's also the developer, already has a plan in motion. This is a good noble man who's done great things all his life. This latest decision of his is not consistent with our values. The decision is to build nine townhome units sold at market rate, meaning affordable homes aren't likely to be built. Once this land is transferred to three-story, over half a million dollar townhomes, it never goes back to that possibility. It always stays that high-end place. So the possibility of them living here is being displaced. Even though the homeowner says displacement is not in his plans, neighbors next door to the development say they're already preparing to have to move. We ain't gonna be able to afford it, so it's not for us. More concerning, they say, is that Governor McMaster recently declared Leach Street and the surrounding neighborhood, which has a poverty rate of nearly 40%, an opportunity zone, giving tax incentives to developers. Making this a very, very lucrative place to build. While neighbors are excited for their community to be restored, they say everyone needs to be included in the renovation. It might be good, you know, but then again, you, you, you can fix homes up for the poor people too, you know. Everything in this world says um, you can't stop progress. Our world teaches us that we can do progress better. Now the public hearing at the Planning Commission will be on August 16th. So live in West Greenville, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. And Erin, you've been covering the affordable housing situation in this area for some time now. Those tax incentives that you mentioned, wouldn't they be connected in some way to requiring affordable housing being built? So those tax incentives from the governor are not. Now we do know that Mayor Knox White just announced the new Unity Park, which is just blocks away from here. That is why Father Pat thinks a lot of these homes are becoming so desirable now. But the mayor said that the city does have some land around Unity Park that they will be building affordably, but those tax incentives are not related to that, Diane. Okay, an issue that cities deal with when they have growing pains. Thank you, Aaron.